Hi, I'm Miss Ulrich. And now, thanks to Mr. Irvin, um, we have a much better understanding about um, pre-Columbian life in um, America. And we understand that there was definitely a lot of life here well before Christopher Columbus or any other European set foot. Well, unfortunately for Native Americans, their lives are about to get rocked with the Columbian Exchange. And that's what I want to spend the next few minutes talking to you about. Um, we probably all remember the story of Christopher Columbus, um, you know, 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue, that guy. Um, you don't have to know any details about him, but just as a side note, um, remember he um, set off from Spain and um, remember he's trying to find a tr faster trade route and end up going west. Um, but little did he know that, um, if you can tell by this map, he did not, no one understood that there was an entire continent um, uh, entire two continents, the Americas, um, and he just happened to stumble upon them. So um, he does land after six weeks at sea on the Bahamas, and he'll have some other voyages after that, but he obviously didn't discover America. There were people um, living here, thriving here. Many civilizations had come and gone already before he lands in America. But with that, you know, quote unquote discovery or that landing here, at least, he does set into play, a, you know, he fundamentally changes the course of history. Um, and that is what the Colombian exchange is all about. So when you think about exchange, think about trade and Colombian, of course, because it's named after Columbus. Little did Christopher Columbus know that, like I said, so much of the world is now going to be changed because now there is a permanent interaction between um, the different sides of the world, between the old world and the new world. Um, so you don't have to have all of these memorized by any means, um, but you should have um, you know, some ideas of some of the things that are going to now be exchanged thanks to now this permanent trading um, interaction that is set into place after Columbus um, lands in America. So, I mean, I just think it's crazy when you think about, you know, imagine, um, you know, tomatoes now are going to the old world from America. Um, imagine Italy without tomatoes or Ireland without potatoes, you know, corn, all this stuff is going to Europe and the old world. They never had this before. And consequently, look at America. Now everything that we are getting, um, I mean, how would we survive without basic, you know, um, cattle, horses, wheat, rice, you get the point. So major, major changes. Um, some people estimate that to three fifths of the crops that are cultivated around the world today um, come from America. So um, clearly there's just a huge exchange that's now going to um, begin to take place um, once Columbus has now um, quote unquote discovered this new land. So this chart clearly shows the more positive side to Columbus's discovery, but of course there's more to the story that's gonna be um, an impact of the Colombian exchange. And that is specifically the impact on Native Americans. Um, unfortunately, they hadn't been exposed to many of the diseases that Europeans had built up immunity for. And so disease is going to have a devastating effect on um, Native Americans. Um, some estimate, some historians estimate that up to 90% of Native Americans get wiped out by smallpox um, and other diseases. Um, so this is just an old, um, illustration kind of depicting the slow stages of death that come from smallpox. And here's a more modern day picture of someone um, dying of smallpox. It's just a very painful way to go. Fortunately for today, that um, disease has been eradicated as of the last few decades, but um, for Native Americans, it's just going to have a devastating effect. So here you can see as um, more non-Indians move to America, um, here's their population increasing. The population of Native Americans is going to dramatically go down. Um, and so the Columbian Exchange is definitely not going to bode well, um, you know, um, from a population standpoint for Native Americans. So here's just one last illustration to, under to illustrate this very important concept of the Columbian Exchange, um, this time taking into effect also the bad parts here, the disease as well that's going to be going um, into America. Um, so the Columbian Exchange happened in, you know, we, we kind of put the date at 1492 because that's when Columbus 
um, you know, lands in America. Uh, if you notice in unit one, the period for the unit starts in 1491. So the year before the Columbian Exchange. So at least you make sure that you know that there is, um, you know, like Mr. Irvin mentioned, life before um, Columbus for Native American cultures. Um, but then the bulk of unit one, what we're going to continue going off of is the time period after the Columbian Exchange and all about how life in America, particularly since this is U.S. history, we're focusing on how life in America has dramatically changed as a result. Um, and so that is what um, Ms. Schacht is going to pick up. She's going to focus more specifically on how Native Americans um, were impacted by now all of these European conquests.